I skipped school and uh, <laughs> snuck onto the set, tapped an assistant director on the shoulder and said, hey, I'm sorry I'm late, but traffic on I-85 is a bear, wears hair and makeup. John Schneider is an actor and country music artist from the United States. He's most known for his roles as Duke in The Dukes of Hazard, Jonathan Kent in Smallville, 2001 to 2011, and James Jim Cryer in Tyler Perry's television series, The Haves and Have Nots. Schneider's been a musician since the 1980s, producing nine albums, a greatest hits collection, and 18 singles, in addition to his acting work. I've been around plenty to know, you're the last thing I needed tonight, Country Girls, and What's a Memory Like You are among the songs that hit the top Billboard charts. TV Land Award nomination, Favorite Teen Fantasy Male, 2004, for the Dukes of Hazard, Teen Choice Awards nomination, Choice of Entertainment Parental Units, 2005, for Smallville, People's Choice Awards, Star of Tomorrow, 1986. That's, you know, the, the, the <laughs> surest way to fail is to quit yeah. or not start. Good point, right? good point. So you've got to start, you've got to go for it. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is John Richard Schneider, but he's also known as Bo Duke. He was born April 6, 1960 in New York making him 61 at the time of this production. He stands 190.3 centimeters tall. Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, CMN Hospitals, is a nonprofit organization that raises money for children's hospitals in the United States and Canada, which helps 10 million kids each year. Campaign contributions go to area clinics that provide life-saving therapies and healthcare programs, as well as advanced testing, essential medical surgical devices, child life services that concentrate on children's mental well-being during stressful hospital visits and financial aid for people who may not possibly access these facilities. The group is based in Salt Lake City, Utah, and was founded in 1983 by Marie Osmond and John Schneider. Children's Miracle Network Hospitals has raised more than $7 billion to date and is delivered directly to 158 hospitals throughout the country. John Schneider claims that CBD helped cure his wife's cancer. Alicia Elaine, John Schneider's wife, says that CBD helped her recover from stage four HER2 negative hormone receptor positive cancer. On Friday, Elaine told Stuart Varney of Fox Business that cancer had been discovered in her thighs, head, rib cage, and back. She discovered that nutrients, hemp, and CBD were related to relieving cancer signs. She started taking CBD orally twice a day but acknowledges it to prepare her body to cure cancer. Schneider said he created the CBD oil brand C. Bo-D, a play on his character name, Bo Duke, to help fight the illness. Schneider claims CBD helped his wife's body become more aggressive in battling it by making her more open to medication and dietary changes. Schneider was married to Tawny Elaine Godden, former Miss America from 1983 to 1986. On July 11, 1983, he married Ellie Castle, his second wife. Castle applied for divorce on December 12, 2014. They have three children, Leah and Chasen, all of whom are Castle's children during her first marriage, and their daughter, Karis. Schneider has been dating Elisa Elaine, his production partner and director, since April 2015. Alicia was his private and qualified assistant. They married in 2019, September. Schneider was close friends with James Best until his death, who played Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane in The Dukes of Hazzard. This frame at the end, Jackie Gleason's tire falls off his car and hits uh -huh. this tall kid with a black cowboy hat uh, in the crowd, and then the, the frame freezes and they roll the credits. That's me. On April 8, 1960, John Richard Schneider was born in Mount Kisco, New York. He's the youngest of Shirley Conklin and John Jack Schneider's three sons. John only grew up with his older brother Robert because his brother died before John's birth. Schneider's father was a pilot in the United States Air Force. Schneider was involved in the sport as a child. He found an immense amount of individual player achievement while attending De Pere's Abbott High School. Schneider had been one of the school's all-time top players to this day. He went on to the University of St. Thomas after high school. Schneider had the chance to play for the university's football squad during his freshman year. 
His playing career was cut short to a shoulder injury. Schneider said, one of my greatest regrets is that I didn't keep playing football. I retired after a year because both of my arms were damaged. In 1982, John Schneider, Marie Osmond, and her brothers laid the foundation of the Children's Miracle Network. He created FaithWorks Productions in 1995 to produce family-friendly videos and recordings. Schneider had become an inspired Christian in 1998 while staying with Johnny and June Carter Cash for a brief period and discussing Christian faith with Johnny. In 1979, Schneider started his acting career at the age of 17. On the hit show, The Dukes of Hazard, he had secured the part of Bo Duke. He would play this character in 127 episodes until the program concluded in 1985. The episode follows two teenage cousins, Bo and Luke Duke, and their antics with their friends and family. While acting The Dukes of Hazard, Schneider also directed an episode, Opening Night at the Boar's Nest, which was the series finale of the series. Schneider appeared in many television films during his tenure on The Dukes of Hazard. That includes Gus Brown and Midnight Brewster, Dreamhouse, and Happy Endings. He's worked as a voice actor on a few films, including The Raccoons and The Lost Star, a television series. Schneider's first major recurring appearance after The Dukes of Hazard was as Jonathan Kent, Clark Kent's adoptive father on the show Smallville, which premiered in 2001. Schneider dabbled in music during his time on The Dukes of Hazard. Schneider signed with Scotty Brothers label in the early 1980s and produced Now or Never, his first complete album, which reached number eight on the Billboard charts. The song It's Now or Never is a remake of the Elvis Presley classic, reached number four on the Billboard charts, and is still the highest charting cover ever. Schneider continued to record albums such as Quiet Man and If You Believe, and signed with MCA Records in 1984. Schneider released albums after albums, and there's a long list of his greatest hits. Smoking the band. Yeah. Uh, in fact, it starts at our big event. We do an event called Bo's Extravaganza, and we did it in 2020, and we made this movie in 2020 and two albums. John Schneider earns $500,000 annually. John Schneider has a net worth of $2 million. He owns a house in Holden, Louisiana. Bo Duke likely owns the following cars. A Dodge Charger. A Dodge Challenger. An Audi Q7. A Ferrari 512TR. A Mustang Shelby. A Porsche 911. A Range Rover. 